so this morning I am going to be trying to take out some of these seats um, yeah so I have my um, ear protection I have my mask I have my safety goggles some gloves and I have my angle grinder here so I'm gonna be working today but before I start interesting I was actually about to start um, on the bus and my mom actually saw this lady down the street with a schoolie her name was sunshine so shout out to but uh, sunshine and she let me take a tour of her bus I would show it to you guys but she said she doesn't want me to post it at least not yet not until she's actually finished and she wants her bus to be seen at its best she doesn't it's kind of like in that transition period where it's like she has some pieces done some things not but um which is understandable you know so she gave me some good advice and it was really cool to just see somebody she was also a um a black lady too so it was really cool to see someone actually in person who's who is a woman of color out there because I don't think we see that many of us out there and it's just really cool just like to have a um a really like supportive community like a really supportive just schooly community in general so yeah shout out to sunshine and her bus um I'm trying to think her bus's name is pretty wings so yeah shout out to her um, if she sees this so yeah today I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to take out these seats this will be my first time so at this point I'm just practicing um, but I'm gonna show you the whole thing so yeah let's go So I was able to get the first seat off. Um, it was definitely, you know, a learning curve for me, but I pretty much got the groove of it. Um, the hardest part actually was getting it off the wall over here, um, especially near where there are wheels. Oop, I gotta get my camera together. Um, but if you see like how, how close the screw is to the actual wheel it was kind of hard for me to actually um, get in between here so what I ended up doing was I just did an extremely slow process I had used my wrench usually I use this um, ratcheting wrench um, the red one you'll see and put it underneath it and like unscrew it um, but it was it was a little challenging so you see I got this many left so that will be tomorrow's challenge okay so lessons learned I told you about the screws and I'm gonna work a little bit differently today I'm gonna try to get as many bolts as I can and then we'll get as many from the walls as we can um, yeah cuz I was so tired last time but I did learn some lessons so that's good that was my first time so I kind of got a feel of you know what to expect and everything so got my water prepped and let's go Okay, I 
get my second seat out. If I can. Good child. Yeah, so. Second seat is out right here. One to the next. I'm gonna try to get at least two out today. Or two more. And if I can get more, then I'll, you know, I'll do it. But as of right now, this is all I got. So I'm speeding up the process, but I'll show you a little bit slower what I'm using to actually unscrew the screws here on the side. Um, I use a wrench in my ratcheting wrench you see at the bottom of it and I'm just like unscrewing the screw out and then it yeah it just pretty much comes out um, it's not too hard it's only hard around like areas where it's the wheels so that's the only time I had trouble kind of like in the front but this is pretty easy to go um, and then you can get that screw out easily and then yeah then the chair comes out Now make no mistake about it, if you're planning on taking up a project like this, you will get an arm workout. It's inevitable here. Um, I pretty much did this, all of like the seats, taking them out by myself. Um, sometimes people would come and watch me work, but yeah, most of this I did by myself and it took me about a week to get it all done. Um, but to be honest, it was pretty fun and it was kind of relaxing. Okay, so I've got most of the seats out. I just have the last two here in the back I only have these two I probably pull the very back seats last but I'm gonna end probably with this one and then um, I'll come back to the rest tomorrow yeah it's exciting all right so it's getting dark my phone's about to die but I got this last seat out and well this one here and then I'll probably do these last two last but um, yeah I'm gonna start on the other side tomorrow so yeah the journey continues all right so boom it's Friday and I'm a little tired I did not finish um, well, I plan to get out here a little earlier. It's like, it's almost seven or it might be about seven now. I didn't get out here early to start these seats. So I might spend majority of tomorrow just finishing the whole other side of the bus. So as of right now, I'm gonna see what I can do before it gets dark. And then, yeah, well, See what I got going from there so yesterday I came out here and basically I just took out some bolts so probably like the first like six seats or so in the back um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to unscrew as many as I can now um, if I can get the angle grinder in between, I'll try to get those bolts out, but a lot of them I'm just, I wasn't able to get in between, so. This is my experience. Um, some other people may be able to do it. I just can't figure it out, so. I'm gonna go back there now, try to finish up, and yeah. <laughs> So, got all my seats cut out. I'm starting to take them out now. So we can see some floor space and I gotta take up the heaters or whatever. So, 
Right now, I'll worry only about taking up the seats and we can explore how big the space actually is. So yeah. So if you follow my Instagram at the bus bay, make sure you go and follow, um, then you would have seen me taking out these seats. Real cute. Wasn't that easy. These seats are actually extremely heavy. Um, I was really happy to actually, this is the only place where I really got some help. Someone like, you know, helping me take them out the bus because y'all, these seats are a workout. Yeah, so this is where I stop for now. Tune in next time to see me and my friends taking up the floor. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.